The AirSense 11 has been a market-leading CPAP machine for a while now, and it's still as popular as ever. But just because you've bought one, it doesn't mean you know how to get it to work. Well, if that's you, have no fear because this video will make getting that first night of blissful sleep a breeze. And I'll be going step-by-step step through the need-to-knows for those all-important first nights. So, here goes. To start, let's get everything in its right place. The power cord comes in two parts. One part includes the power block, and the cable from the block should be plugged into the back of the unit, below and to the right of the large air connection point. The other part plugs into the wall, and then into the block. Next, get your tubing. The AirSense 11 can ship with two different kinds of tubing. The slimline tubing has a circular connection. Simply hold the cuff on the tubing and push it into the ring on the large air connector at the back of the unit. If you have the climate line tubing instead, the tubing cuff will have an arrow clearly marked, which should be turned to face upward. If it is the right way up, the pins in the protrusion should line up with the slot at the top of the connection point. Push the cuff into place until it clicks. The other end of the tubing needs to be attached to your mask. You can either do this now or later when you're ready to sleep, but the process is quite simple. The tubing will attach either to the mask itself or to a short tube that comes from the mask. The exact method will depend on the mask you're using, but it should be straightforward. Lastly, for the physical setup, you should remove the humidifier chamber by squeezing it and then tugging it free from the unit. Open the chamber by pulling upward on the tab at the end. Then fill the chamber with distilled water up to the maximum water line indicated. Close the lid carefully to avoid spillages and snap the chamber back into place. Now if you find the water regularly spills when doing this, then you're not alone. That's why we made a video with a handy tip to avoid this happening, which is linked in the description below. Adding distilled water to the chamber is something you'll probably need to do each night before you sleep. With the physical pieces in place, you now need to get the software set up. As soon as the unit receives power, the screen will come to life. Depending on your unit, you might be asked to select your language first, or you might be taken straight to the welcome screen. Either way, you should select the user from this screen, as that's what you are. You'll then be prompted to personalize your unit. This involves responding to a few background questions about your therapy and apnea, and further questions will be asked at certain points over the first month of your usage. Your responses are recorded by the device and are used to provide some tips and support in the first month. Also, the answers can be sent to your medical professional for reviewing if you grant permission for it to. Once completed, you'll be asked whether you want to complete setup using the My Air app, which is ResMed's free smartphone app that connects with their CPAP units. You don't really need to do this as I've just explained how to set the device up. And if you prefer not to use smartphones, the information and features of the app can all be accessed through the screen of the unit as well, albeit not as quickly. But if you'd like to look at the setup videos on the app, review your sleep data from your phone, and be able to remotely control your comfort settings, here is how to get the app installed and connected. Go into Google Play for Android devices or the App Store if you have an iPhone. Then search for My Air. The official app is the one you want and it's called My Air by ResMed. Find it, download it to your phone, and then open it up. If you already have an account, then log in. But if you don't, you'll need to set one up by tapping Create Account and putting in your details. You'll then need to activate your account through an email that will be sent to your inbox, and you'll then be asked to create a password. Make sure your phone's Bluetooth is turned on and log in to the My Air app. Once logged in and various policies are accepted, the app will prompt you to register your machine with the account. Select the Air 11 series option and then hit Connect via Bluetooth and grant permission for the connection. This app should then find your machine and the screen on your CPAP unit should display a four digit code. Enter that code into the app and it should connect with your machine. This process is called pairing and will only need to be done once for that phone and machine. Your CPAP unit should now have a Bluetooth symbol in the top right to show it is connected to a phone via Bluetooth. The app may then ask for the brand and model of your mask and prompt you to complete the physical setup through the app with ResMed's personal therapy assistant feature. But you don't need to do this as I've already covered it in the information earlier. The app lets you access the same information and make the same changes to your CPAP as the menu screen on the machine does. So to avoid doubling up, I'm going to describe the menu screen and its options and trust that you can find the right buttons to push and do the same via the app. It's quite intuitive once you know what you're looking for. So with a bit of experimentation and exploration, then there shouldn't be any problems. And remember, you can't mess anything up. 
as the clinical settings that match your prescription are hidden away in a secret menu that you won't find unless you really know what to look for. And this is because these settings should only be changed in consultation with a medical professional. So I'm not going into that here. This is a user setup video after all. Okay, so let's have a look at the menu. If the menu screen is dark, just tap on it to wake it up. The AirSense 11 has a light sensor, so the brightness of the screen will react to the ambient light, meaning it won't light up as much during those all important dark hours, which is a nice feature. Once your screen is active, then there'll be three options on the display. My options, my sleep view, and more. My options is where the bulk of the settings of your unit can be changed. But as I mentioned before, the only ones you can adjust from here are those related to your comfort and not your therapy as prescribed by your doctor. So changing these is all about finding what works best for you and improves your comfort. And you should feel free to experiment. That said, if this is your first time using a CPAP, we recommend keeping these settings in auto mode, at least until you get more used to them. But I'll still give you a quick rundown of the sort of settings you can find here and what they do. Ramp is a feature that allows your therapy pressure to start low when you first turn on the unit and then ramp up to your prescription level once you're sleeping. This can be manually set to occur over a selected period of time, or as we recommend, left on auto. In auto, the CPAP keeps the pressure low until it detects that you're asleep and then ramps up the pressure to that point. This keeps things more comfortable for you while you're drifting off without negatively affecting your therapy. What the next setting will be depends on whether you have that climate line tubing or the slim line tubing. If you have slimline tubing, the next setting will be humidification. This setting changes the moisture levels entering the air from the humidifier. This doesn't have an auto option, but a level of four is typically a good place to start. And you can adjust this up or down based on whether you find that you're getting a dry mouth through the night or breathing overly moist air. Of course, if you don't want or don't have the humidifier, you'll need to set this to off. However, if you have climate line tubing, then there will be two options here instead climate control and tube temperature. Leaving these on auto will mean the tubing will adjust its humidity and temperature levels according to the ambient humidity and temperature in your room. The point here is to provide suitable humidity while avoiding condensation forming in the tube, which can lead to water sloshing around. Later, if you want, you can manually set the tube temperature and the humidity levels if you find the automatic algorithm isn't working for you. Under accessories, you'll find mask settings. Make sure what is displayed matches your mask type. This setting helps the therapy algorithm know the effects the pressure will be having at your mask. So it's important to get this right for your therapy. There are three options to choose from, which match the three kinds of mask. Pillow masks are those that have protrusions that go into your nostrils like this. Full face masks cover both your nose and your mouth like this, while nasal masks cover just your nose, but don't go into your nostrils like this. That's all the options. And to get back to the root menu, hit the home icon in the top left. The more menu is where some extra features can be accessed. The top option here is warm up. If you activate this, your CPAP will warm the water in your humidifier ready for when you start therapy. We suggest you activate this about 30 minutes before you intend to sleep so the humidifier is ready to go as soon as you hit start. Without this, the humidifier can take a while to get going. Under this is Mask Fit, which runs a test to make sure that your mask is not leaking air. To run this, put on the mask and hit start. If the seal is good, you'll get a green tick. If there are leaks, you'll get an amber exclamation mark and should adjust your mask tightness to fit until you get that green tick. Once you get a green tick, hit stop to end the test. The final setting here worth mentioning is airplane mode. This needs to be enabled if you use your CPAP machine on a flight, but it will also disable remote access to your machine. With this on, compliance reporting cannot take place, medical professionals can't get remote access to make changes to your machine, nor can ResMed do any automatic software updates. Some like it permanently on for these reasons, but if you want others to be able to help you manage your reporting and settings, then it's best to keep this off. Back to the home menu again. My Sleep View provides sleep data from your last therapy session, which you don't need to worry about right now. The unit will collect data about your breathing patterns, waking incidents, and time spent using the machine, which is required to monitor the effectiveness of your therapy and for the purposes of compliance, which is required by your insurance company if they're covering the bill. 
The AirSense 11 can connect to the internet, which means that your machine is probably set up to automatically transmit this data to your sleep professional. If it isn't, or if you are not sure about it, then get in touch with us at RestShop as we provide a remote data downloading service for the AirSense 11. As part of this service, we remotely access your machine to extract your sleep data, compile therapy and compliance reports, and can provide these reports to your insurance company and medical professionals, all without you lifting a finger. Well, apart from when you click the button to sign up on our website. We also offer a service that can interpret that data for you and discuss your therapy and ways to improve it. This is a service tailor-made for beginners and can really take the worry from the whole process. I'll leave a link for more info in the description. Last, but by no means least, is the start stop button at the top of the unit. If you have auto start stop activated, you might not need to use this, but if you don't, you'll need to press this button when you're ready to begin therapy. Although as with everything else on the menu, this can also be done in the My Air app if you have it connected with your machine. As you may have noticed, quite a bit of the functionality of the AirSense 11 is built for the climate line tubing. So if you're finding it difficult to get the moisture or the temperature of the air just right for you, then it can be well worth investing in this extra bit of affordable CPAP kit. Similarly, after a few months of use, you may find the regular cleaning the water chamber requires can get quite tedious to do by hand. If so, you can get a replacement and dishwasher safe version of the chamber to make life that bit easier. On the other hand, if you find that you don't need the humidifier at all, it might be worth getting ResMed's side cover to replace the water chamber. When this gets inserted, it automatically disables the humidification functionality of the machine and slightly reduces its weight and footprint too. But before you even start planning your CPAP upgrades, it's time to give your new AirSense a test drive and get some well-deserved rest. And as always, remember to sleep tight.